With the introduction of the M4 inside the new iPad Pro 11 and 13 inch models, a lot of you are wondering what AI features are we going to get in macOS and also when will the new MacBooks release with the M4, M4 Pro and the M4 Max inside and are we going to see any price differences this time around? We're going to get to the release date and price in just a moment, but first of all, let's talk about all these new AI features we could be seeing in the new MacBook Pros, and it all starts at WWDC 2024. So WWDC 2024 starts on June 10th, and as you can see from here, we've had lots of leaks coming in telling us that Apple are going to give us lots of AI abilities, including improving Siri and other features too, to give us an idea of kind of features we could be getting. They could be similar to Windows 11, what they've just offered recently with Copilot Plus, and also Apple have recently signed up with OpenAI ChatGPT. So we could see lots of abilities, like for example, you could get essays written for you in pages, or for example, a whole presentation could be made for you inside Keynote too. One thing is for sure, it will make the MacBook Pro M4 models, when they come out, the kings of AI. AI on Mac OS. Well, we've had this report in here, a leak of the time schedule when we're going to see M4 Max. And if you look right here, you can see the M4 just the normal M4 MacBook Pro is targeted towards the end of 2024 and then the M4 Pro and the M4 Max may come along with that looking at this leak here from Mark Gurman or they may come in early 2025. In my opinion I think we're going to get one of two scenarios that are going to happen. The first one is very similar to like what we got at the end of 2023, where we got the introductions of the MacBook Pros from the M3 to the M3 Max, but this time round it'd be a little bit more different. I think we'd get the M4 to the M4 Max and including that M4 Pro inside of the MacBooks and we may also see the Mac Mini also released too because obviously that would have an M4 and an M4 Pro inside of that and there's also the possibility that we may also see the iMac with its M4 chipset being put inside of that model too. The other scenario that may happen is that we might not get something similar to end of 2023 with Scary Fast but instead we may just get a soft release here so a press release release. So maybe just the Mac Mini may come out with an M4 inside of it and maybe the M4 Pro potentially and then the iMac and we may even just get the M4 version of the new MacBook Pros, the 14 inch models. And then come around about January time, there may be another release there for the M4 Pro and the M4 Max in the likes of the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. It's a little bit of a confusion ball at the moment, um, but the main thing is they are gonna be coming at the end of this year or beginning of 2025. And also there's lots of other Apple products that are expected to come out between now and then too. We've got brand new iPhones coming, a redesigned Apple Watch, some new AirPods, and even the possibility of a new HomePod 2, and also the Apple TV needs to have some updates because it's still got an A15 inside of it right now. Then, for example, we still even got iPads that need updating. We've got the likes of the 11th generation iPad to still come down, and then also the iPad mini because that's still on A15 too. So we may be getting an A18, A17 Pro, or even the A18 Pro inside of this model. And all of this has still got to come out before the end of 2024. So at the moment, it's still a bit of a mixed bag, like I said. But like I said, the main sort of potential I'm going to say is we're going to see the first sort of M4 Max before the end of 2024, but some of them may overlap into the early part of 2025. But as more leaks come along, we all know when the expected date is going to be. And if you can't wait that long for the new M4 MacBooks to come along, well, the great news is we're doing a giveaway for one of these. This here is an M4. M3 MacBook Pro and I'm giving this away to one lucky subscriber in June time and we are in June time it's going to be the end of June it's the end of this month I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber and this MacBook Pro just to tell you about it's actually been upgraded to 16 gigabytes of RAM instead of 8 gigabytes of RAM it's also got 512 gigabytes of storage it's the normal M3 inside of it too so yeah it's a really fantastic machine and like I said I'm giving it away to one lucky subscriber and all you have to do to enter into the giveaway on this channel is just put down in the comments below of what technology or Apple technology you're hoping to get in 2024. So put it down in the comments right now. 
And also, if you are brand new here and you're not a subscriber yet, you can still enter in just becoming a subscriber. So make sure you press that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell too. And the other main reason why you want to do that is because I'll be making an announcement near the end of June time with all the details of the live stream for the giveaway of this MacBook Pro. And there will be a form to fill in as well, what I'll talk about in that video. So you won't want to miss out on that. But I also just want to quickly say at this stage as well, sadly, there's still lots of scammers and spammers here. People still impersonate me, telling you to Telegram or WhatsApp. This is not me at all. Do not pay for postage or anything like that. I'll be paying for this and taxes and whatnot on this international giveaway. So please do ignore them or better still, please do report them. So with that out of the way, the next question you're probably wondering is, well, how different are these new MacBook Pros going to look to the previous few generations that we've had? Well, it's more likely that the actual design is going to stick around again, the exact same design. So what I'm talking about, the same design that we've had ever since, say, the M1 Pro and also the M1 Max all the way up to the M3 series, this is going to be sticking around. So including the M4 standard model, just like the M3 model that came out end of last year, what came in a 14 inch sort of body, missing one USB-C port, this is going to stay exactly the same this time round, except for you'll get an M4 inside of it. And it will be the same again for the M4 Pro and the M4 Max, very similar to what we've had before. And also that space black color will still be available. And if there is going to be any other changes, maybe a new color will be introduced to the lineup. That is probably about it. But overall dimensions and everything like that, even the weight will probably be very similar to what we have now. Now we have heard of leaks and rumors that an OLED display is coming, but this is probably not going to come to at least the next generation of the MacBook Pro. So if you are looking for an OLED display, you're going to have to wait out at least another full generation for that to come out. At the earliest, it will be with the M5 models, potentially even the M6 models. But for now, it's going to definitely be a mini LED display like we have right now. All the ports are going to be the same and no sort of speed differences whatsoever there. Everything will be exactly the same and probably maybe the only one I've adjustment I say we may get we may get Wi-Fi 7 instead of Wi-Fi 6e but apart from that like I said exactly the same but then the next question you're gonna be asking well if everything's gonna be staying exactly the same what about the prices are the prices going to change this time round well most likely this is not going to be the case the prices will probably actually stay the same and as you can see here with the M3 14 inch MacBook Pro it starts at 1,599 US dollars and it's likely that the M4 model of this will be the same and then moving over then to the M3 Pro version, it starts at 1,999 US dollars. The M4 Pro will probably start at this for the base configuration. And then the same with the M4 Max, just like the M3 Max starting at 3,199 US dollars for the 14 inch model, this will stay exactly the same price again. But of course, if there are any big changes on the release day or the price or anything like that, I'll be letting you guys know. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. Are you looking forward to the new M4 MacBook Pros now you're going to be getting one let me know in the comments below and also guys if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too until next time guys I'll see you really soon take care bye bye